What's going on, Fearless family? Welcome to Fearless Fridays. So today we're gonna to call this the Open Door Challenge. And what do I mean by Open Door Challenge? Well, check this out. So about a year ago, we sat at Tim's Integrated Man Summit and we had special guest Robert Glover. You guys all know Robert Glover. He wrote uh, No More Mr. Nice Guy. I'm sure a lot of you have read it. That book was like a uh, cornerstone of my growth. I had a lot of nice guy tendencies, uh, which I worked through. Uh, via that book. But during this talk, Robert Glover talked about seizing the opportunities that women are kind of already giving guys, which is open invitations. So girls are constantly giving guys little subtle hints, come talk to me, that guys are not picking up on. I've also heard Brian say before, like maybe he thinks that 30% of guys or one in every three guys can pick up on a girl's subtle cues that she's giving them. And I find this to be very true, especially when we're taking clients out to go meet women and approach. A lot of guys are finding it very hard to approach girls. A lot of guys are finding it very difficult to talk to women. And a lot of the times, they're just not seizing the opportunity of women who are already checking them out. Now, when we go out and we work with clients, we are standing back and we're letting them choose the girl that they wanna approach. Or we're seeing girls for them and we're like, hey, go check that girl out, go talk to her. Because we as coaches, are seeing these women looking right at these guys and these guys can't see it because they're in their head, they're worried, they're nervous. They're probably sweating the next approach that they have to do. They're thinking about the girl they just saw, should I go back, should I not? So they're not present and really in their environment like they should be relaxed. So the reason I chose this challenge is because approaching should be easy and it's gonna be a lot easier when guys have in open invitation if they can see it. Now, I think guys who are already good with women can see these invitations very clearly. And the guys who are not and they're worried, they can't. So I want you guys to start to become more keen and aware of these open invites because what you'll realize is that over time or almost instantly, it'll be less work because a lot of us are sweating I don't want to bother this person. I don't want to stop this person. I don't, you know, the nice guy stuff is coming up, right? Apologeticness and all that stuff in your approaches. Whereas when a girl's already giving you an invitation, how much freer and relaxed do you feel to show up, right? So let's get you guys moving that direction with the girls who are already giving you invites. So in this weekend's challenge, as I want you guys to go out, and the first thing I want you guys to do is start to settle in your environment. There's one thing that we call the spins here, is that when you get into your environment or wherever you're going out to go do your approaches at, whether it's a park, it's the beach, or if it's a shopping center, your tendency to get into your heads and have these circulation of thoughts that are just kind of reoccurring. So what I like to do is when I go out, if I ever find myself in the spins, I like to take a sit, take a seat on the bench, acknowledge all the thoughts that are going on acknowledge the cycle of tornado of thoughts that are keeping me from being present in my environment and then i'll just welcome them for a little bit i won't do it for too long i'll probably do it for about five or ten minutes until i can settle down and come down into my body until i can actually feel my shoulders until i can feel my legs until i can feel my gut my stomach my turn on all that stuff when it starts to wake up that's how you know you're out of the spins your body will come just a little bit heavier to you um, or more present to you. So either you guys do this part of it, what I want you guys to do is start to just walk. Get up and just start walking, okay? I don't want you guys to go looking. I want you guys to just start walking, enjoying your environment that you're in. And as you're walking along your way, just start to take note if girls are looking at you or giving you eye contact or just walking your direction head on, okay? I want you guys to just start to notice these little subtle things that are going on. Um, and if you guys do, or when you guys do, I should say, because I believe all guys are being seen by women, is I want you guys to start to initiate and step out and approach her, okay? So if you get a girl who's locked in with you or she's looking your way and if she turns away, I still want you guys to go and approach because those are gonna be the easiest ones to open up because they've already seen you. And what you'll realize is that once you get the approach going, the rest of it's just you learning, or not even learning, but exercising your ability as a man to ground yourself, ground her, lead, contain, create a container, and talk and chat, right? The whole reason for all this really is for you guys to learn over time that repetition is the greatest teacher, right? You'll learn the fastest through repetition. So you guys just need to get in front of girls. And so 
these open invitations are really quick and easy ways for you guys to get in front of women to practice. Now, don't be surprised if a lot of these do turn into dates or turn into you getting the phone number or turn into something even more, depending on how your interaction is going. But first and foremost, I want you guys to just become keen about the open invites that girls are giving you guys. Now, I know it can be very hard to distinguish an open invite. If a girl is looking at you, a lot of us have a tendency to write it off or kind of downplay that she's attracted to you. Well, sure, she may not be necessarily, but she might be curious about you to some degree. And again, she hasn't met you, so she doesn't know if she's attracted to you. So the best way to do that is to show up, use that open invite, open her up, talk to her, and then see if there's any attraction from your end to her and vice versa, okay? So guys, remember, go out, relax to your environment, take a walk, take a stroll, and just take inventory of all the looks that you guys are getting, okay? In doing that, I want you guys to go and approach the girls that you are connecting with or noticing and looking at you, okay? Because those are usually the ones that open up for you right away as soon as you stop them. Because there's a part of them that's already kind of curious about you guys, okay? So also guys, don't forget the journal. Journaling is a huge part of this because journaling is pretty much a book of disconfirming experiences. So if part of you doesn't believe that women are looking at you or like you, you'll have this journal over time where you can just kind of go back and scroll through to see that all your thoughts and your stories around women are just thoughts and stories around women. They're not true. You can go back in here and look at countless times girls have been attracted to you. And this will boost your self-esteem in that area, okay? And just, it'll help you realize that you're probably just in a funk or out of sync right now. And you'll get back into it once you get out of the spins, the crazy thoughts, okay? So also guys, don't forget to comment below. Let us know how these stops are going for you. Let me know if this stuff is working for you because I see it all the time and guys, when we take them out and it's probably no different for you. Write in the comments how the eye contact thing is going for you. Let me know if you're approaching these girls, how it's going. Let me know how easy it's become for you to approach these girls or how easy it is to hold a conversation or even just open them up once you've already kind of given the eye contact or noticed that she's been looking at you um, as opposed to walking up to a girl who hasn't seen you yet and doing it that way, okay? Uh, also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I want to help you guys out as much as I can to get you guys to become approaching machines, but also enjoying and connecting with beautiful women, okay? And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.